Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking in and watching our first Facebook video. My name is Elise Rehack and I am a therapist here at Riverview. Some of you may have seen me at our office for our monthly parent workshops that happen the third Thursday of every month. Since our February presentation, it seems so much has changed. Like me talking to you from my home office instead of our St. Charles office. And while I'm thankful for the technology, talking at my camera is not as enjoyable as getting to talk and share with parents in the way I'm used to. Change is challenging and changing quickly and unexpectedly can be even harder. At Riverview, we have adapted all of our therapy services to telehealth in order to continue to provide quality care to our clients during a time when we cannot be in the same room with them. Our therapists have successfully moved clients who they previously met with face-to-face -to, -face to this electronic platform. Also, we are continuing to accept new families and individuals looking for additional support and providing services through telehealth. So what is telehealth? Hopefully I can explain what it looks like and some tips that can make it as effective as possible. First, telehealth is done through a video conference platform, kind of like Skype, uh, Zoom, FaceTime, or any of those we've been using these past few weeks to connect with friends and family. At Riverview, our services are done through our online client portal, which is secure and HIPAA compliant, and these services can be billed to insurance. This portal allows for a client to see upcoming appointments and connect to them from their device at home. Once you set up your client portal, joining your session really is as easy as clicking a button. The feedback I have gotten from clients is overwhelmingly positive, saying it is convenient and easy to use. We have gotten some questions about how telehealth works when meeting with children. Using telehealth really has been a great opportunity for me to see kiddos I work with in an environment that feels most comfortable to them, which is at home. I have also gotten to meet a lot of really cute pets and family members can join easily at any time if needed. I have also found that our children and teens are really comfortable communicating using a video conference platform. Most of them are used to communicating with friends this way already and have had little trouble adapting. Our therapists have also been really creative, thinking outside the box and finding ways to complete activities, to work on skills, to continue to address our clients' goals. I also wanted to give you some ideas to think about for starting your first telehealth session. I've come across these tips over the past few weeks as I've completed sessions and transitioned into this new world myself. First, make sure you have a device that has a camera and a microphone that your internet browser can access. I have had people use phones, tablets, and computers all successfully. The device also needs to be charged. Try to make sure you have a good internet connection. If you're far away from your router at home, uh, the signal strength will be lower and it can impact the quality of the video and sound. Next, think about a space in your home that is private and allows you to feel comfortable talking openly as you would if you were meeting in the office. Keeping yourself free from distractions from others or on your phone will allow you to better focus on the conversation with your therapist. You can talk with your therapist about ways to troubleshoot if technology problems do occur during your session, so that way you have a plan if a glitch comes up. I think it is also important to discuss any hesitations or concerns you might feel about moving to telehealth with your therapist. I've had many great questions and concerns raised over the last few weeks, which allows us to problem solve and ultimately get through the transition so we can focus on working toward goals together. So, if you are interested in starting therapy services or have any further questions or concerns, please reach out to our staff. We are here ready to help and support you and your families during what is most definitely unprecedented times. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to bring you videos each week through our social media page with different tips, ideas. So please click in again and I hope you all stay well.